Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in. The following information will help you when conducting in-house ATP swabbing. ATP readings are used for assessing the cleanliness of your equipment and facility. ATP swabs should be completed after cleaning just prior to sanitizing. ATP is the energy molecules that are found in all living cells. The higher the RLU reading, the more ATP, meaning the dirtier the surface. First, we will show you the steps on how to swab a large piece of equipment. Step one, turn on the device. Step two, calibrate the device. Open the device and insert the positive swab. Close lid. Hold device upright and wait for reading. Results are displayed in 15 seconds. Do this for the negative swab as well. Repeat two times for each. Step number three, remove swab from tube. Be careful to not touch the shaft of the swab. Step number four, swab a four by four inch area using a crisscross pattern, ensuring an even coverage. Using an even pressure, rotate the shaft of the swab. Be careful to not touch the shaft of the swab. When swabbing a smaller item, swab as much of the area using a crisscross pattern ensuring an even coverage. Step five, replace swab in tube. Step number six, snap bulb by placing the swab in your fist using your thumb and forefinger to snap the bulb. Step number seven, Squeeze bulb twice to move liquid into the tube. Step number eight, shake for five seconds. Step number nine, insert swab into device and close lid. Hold device upright and press OK. Results are displayed in 15 seconds. Step number 10, record results on ATP monitoring records. If the records are not within spec, reclean and re-swab. Step number 11, dispose swabs in garbage. We hope you found this video helpful on how to do ATP swabbing using Hygienia System Sure Plus and UltraSnap swabs. For more information on quality and food safety, please go to our website. Thank you for watching.